look at this. Look at this right here. <laughs> the hell's going on? Look at this big ass machine guy. You know how to operate it? Yeah. Oh yeah guys, Keith, Keith, he's getting it on. Let's see what the hell's going on here. Guys, we yeah. had to drive that thing. Like I said, the people from the from the, the rental place said it was legal, so we just do what we were told, yeah. What the hell? As long as somebody's following you behind. I think we're taking the saran map off. Oh yeah, this place? Sound, all right guys, so we're gonna explain to you once we get it off what this is. Right Keith? Yes. Exciting. Yes. It's exciting. Very excited. No, go on the chinga. Se va a hacer. How the hell are we gonna unload this fucking thing? Let's go get some knives, Keith. <laughs> this is gonna be a project. Dale. You're in the presence of a forklift operator. Ah, la. Sort of fat. El motor, sí, ¿verdad? Va bien ligero. Ahorita van a ver cómo lo va a meter. I'm gonna put it in reverse, guys, because the machine is wider than the door. So we're gonna have to go in there sideways, you know what I'm saying? A la madre. Let's get it. Keith, what are you doing? Uh, we're moving all this stuff out. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's, there's not enough space for me to fit back there. What am I supposed to do? Just you gotta help everybody. Ways? It's teamwork, bro. It is teamwork. <laughs> it is teamwork, and I appreciate it. You gotta make room for the new project, guys. We'll let you know what it is when we get to that part. Okay, so like, look, look, where the where the bench used to be, right? Uh -huh. This is now where the bench used to be. I want this against this wall. I want that against that wall. Oh, okay. That side to the open, and this front to the open. Oh, okay. I thought this side was supposed to be in the back. No, because of those pipes. Remember, you had talked about the pipes. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. This this is good because I have to get to these. So if that's against the wall and this is against the wall, okay, I can still so, get to so that. Here's the wall. This over here, and this in the back. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, so I, you I grab thought, it on I thought, this side. I thought we needed that side. No, no, no. Okay. Consistent también. Oh, yeah. Thank you first. Don't sweat it, Keith. Don't sweat it. 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 Don't because um, the company that we bought this from said that their shippers don't drive on the weekends and it's Monday morning and this machine showed up and we didn't have a forklift. So we had to drive the forklift from a mile and a half away across like down the street. You had to drive that? Yeah. God. Yeah, so but once once the machine gets in the shop and we start getting it hooked up and getting ready to go, I'll feel a lot better, but very stressed. Take up my light again and put your force down and tilt back a little bit. Yeah, and then down some more. Okay, now it's not going. 
Watch the signs, logos. We're gonna be able to do theater. everything. Did you explain already what this machine's gonna be doing? Let us take everything take off. Y'all wait. He's get back to his uh, room temperature because right now he's hot. He's sweating. <laughs> he's sweating. <laughs> Now we gotta get this machine to make us some money because we spend a lot of money on it. This one can do laser engraving, right? Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, boy. Check it out, guys. The machine is almost ready. Never mind. We tell the electrician to come over here, hook it up, and then he went and bought this stuff. He said it's a dust collector, but that shit was pretty pricey, pricey as well. So he's gonna be doing an unboxing on that one. This is ready. Midnight Performance brought us a truck so we could do a sound system on it. We getting it. We getting it. Can I tell JR? Trabando con lo de la cheese drop de la Westgate. Está medio. Está medio. Mhm. Esta la del turbo. Oh yeah. That's gonna look sick. We were gonna do hood exes, guys, but then uh, we changed the mind. Now we're gonna do it to the side. It's all right. Check it out. Minute performance truck. What is this? A super duty? I think he wants a little sound system. Two eights or four eights. I don't know what well, Vargas talked to him about, but it's a pretty nice truck, guys. 350 or four? Okay, it's 450 or 350 way. What was that? 450 XL. Maybe one day I'll give me a Ford. They look real square, real beefy. My Chevy, my Dooley looks pretty good too, but I like how square this one looks. See, of course, it's got the big wheels with the Midnight logo on there, holding macaroni. So we won't have to return the forklift till tomorrow. So we're just gonna keep it out here and uh, use it for whatever we gotta use it for. I don't know if you guys remember, I have my white OBS. It's sitting over there at Alex's shop. Gotta go get it, put a motor in there. But right now, our main focus is the CNC machine. Once Keith gets back over here, I think he went to Home Depot. I'm gonna have him explain to you what all he's gonna be doing. It did come with this, this thing, I don't know what it is. And then uh, the screen and the keyboard. So I guess it's a computer. A lot of movement, a lot of things going on right now at the shop. But this truck got a couple of scratches right here on the light. And we're gonna be picking the winner uh, this coming up weekend. So we gotta get this fixed and we gotta replace the windshield. So we're gonna go over with Pop Exclusive. Check it out, I think I'm gonna forklift. Eh? Let's go over with Pop Exclusive. And then right now we'll explain to you what the machine's gonna do whenever we get back. Let's go, Oscar. What's up guys, boy Fred interrupting this little video simply because guys we're here at Project Tour Garage and if you guys haven't stopped by the shop make sure to stop and if you're a local here in Conroe and you're local to where you see the store and we're here you better know that we got the Michelada on deck so Scarface supplies us with Michelada every week so we make sure it's fresh of the fresh stop by pick up a Michelada and check us out guys also guys if you want to buy merch like I said on my, all my previous videos it doesn't matter what you buy you will get answers for the upcoming giveaway and this Saturday guys we're gonna be announcing the winner of the truck. You, the winner will take the truck or 20K cash. And if you shop right now, you get entries to the upcoming giveaway. We still don't know what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be nice. Stay tuned, thanks for watching the video. And if you're watching this clip right now, if you made it this far, hit the like button for me and drop us a comment. Tell us what else you guys think we should sell here at Pirate Tour Garage. Estamos. I know, I'm a regret giving this bitch away. <laughs> it's alright. Remember, guys, we're giving away this truck or $20,000 cash. Hopefully, they pick the $20,000. Alright, get it. Let's see where Papa's Cruiser is at. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. Look at that truck. That's like a Así. SEMA truck. Así como la, como está, wey, la puedes llevar a un show y te da un trofeo. Fácil. Te volada. Mira. 
Damn, that thing looks pretty in here, boy. Yeah, man. 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 Okay. Como que se le chipió la pintura. ¿Sabe lo que pasó? Era cromado este jale y uh -huh. el que lo pintó no lo preparó bien. No le echó el producto adecuado. Porque mire, todavía se mira cromado, brilloso. So, y abajo lleva un, un otro material primer, an ¿no? antes de... Pero bueno, de modo. El pedo es que arreglarlo. hay que arreglarlo ¿Sí? y también ocupa un windshield nuevo. Muy bien. Acá, ¿Qué más le damos al ganador? Ah, una limpiadita nomás, una bofeada. A ah, huevo. ¿Mm? Que brille. Dije la troca 20 mil cash, me ojalá el Está bien, perro. Para que se quede la troquita. Esta que si no la agarran, no le vuelvo a dar esta troca. ¿Mm? Te vas a pintarlo de abajo. No me gusta esto. Ok. ¿Negro? Sí, güey, porque se ve como mejor. Ajá, ok, Entonces, está bien. Entonces vamos a pintarse lo mismo. Y una vez. Para que se vea mamalona. Chulada de troca es esta, mae. Está bien, perra, güey. Y se maneja como. Como si nada. Como, si no, tuviera, como si no tuviera bolsas de aire. ¿Eh? Ah, hombres. Una belleza. No sé por qué la regalé. Ni <risa> pedo. Well, guys, le vamos a dejar la troca aquí a Pop Exclusive. Of course, I already know he gets down with the get down. The truck is gonna look the same, but with a little bit of better touches. He's gonna go ahead and paint this. And then right here, wherever did the tubs, they left them uh, just metal, exposed metal. So he's gonna go ahead and paint that black. Cosmetic. So just a little bit cosmetic, maybe do a little polish and boss so it looks really, really good. Hopefully the guy, whoever wins it, one of you guys takes the cash. But if not, I want you guys to take home a really, really clean truck. And I don't want you guys to have to do anything other than drive this truck. So uh, we're going to leave it right here, Papa Stupid, in good hands. If you guys need a color match done on the truck and you want it done right, make sure to bring it to Papa Stupid because he does really, really good work. Right, Así es, como debe de ser. Vamos a pintar bien el emblema también. Vamos a hacer unos detallitos, hay que revisar todo lo que le falte. Para que se vaya, no. se vaya bien chingona. Vamos a cargar el sábado que entra. Ah, bien. So, bien, bien. Sí, si la casa tiene, pues. No, no, no. Tiene que estar. A la madre. Tiene que estar, sí. Debe, boy. Es que si ya va a ser el sábado, tiene que verse mamalona. Sí. Yes. Vamos a darle duro. Ya está, más. Nos vamos. Dejamos en buenas manos. Y ya saben, whoever needs a paint job, color match, ese es chrome cladding installed or whatever. Bedliners. Bedliners. Also, go check out his YouTube channel, Exclusive Collision. Exclusive Collision. Ahí vemos los procesos de las hey, trucas de Freddy. Le vamos a poner el link en la descripción del video para que vayan y le cliquen y vayan a subirse al canal de Exclusive. ¿eh? Ahí pueden ir viendo todas las los trocas que Freddy trae y todos los procesos que le hacemos y toda la lana que se le mete a cada una de estas camionetas para que vean que no es chico. No solo van a ver las mías, también aquí las trae on the gas. On the gas. Uh, Claro, otra una. Hay mucha gente que ha traído aquí sí. las trocas y pues aquí van, salen con más. Se las vamos a detallar chingonas para que se lleven. Y también, no nomás, no nomás a los youtubers, ¿verdad? A no, cualquier a todos, persona. A, todos, a, a todos. que se le ofrezca un jale bien hecho. Top exclusive. It's a minute gold bed liner, uh, color match, full paint job, restoration, también. whatever. Whatever you guys need. La, la vamos a dejar bien, bien perrona para que se lleven los 20 mil dólares. Sí. ¿Verdad? ¿Verdad? Y eso, 20 mil cash. No, sí. quiero deshacer de mi troquita. What the hell is this now? You going out to outer space or why shit like a rocket? That's right, Elon Musk better look out. <laughs> is a dust collector so that way when we're using the machine and it's cutting all the wood or plastic or whatever it has a dust boot on the bottom of it this will pull all the dust and chips away so it doesn't get spread around the all right Keith so nobody you haven't explained what the hell is this machine for so right now give us the whole rundown what this machine is gonna be able to do for us okay. it's a CNC router right so CNC is computer or something I don't know what it, I don't know what it fucking stands for but uh, basically what we'll be able to do is we can take you know a whole sheet of wood or a sheet of plastic and then we can design what we want to cut out. So if we want to cut out, you know, the shape of a box or if we want to cut out a logo, we can design that on a computer and then the computer will tell the machine to make whatever we need to make. So, so you basically, you'll design everything to the computer, yeah. send the program over to the CNC machine yeah. and have the machine do exact everything, cut it to spec and design whatever you want. Yeah, 100%. So it's very, very accurate. That's kind of a good thing. You know, with me cutting stuff on the table saw, sometimes I'll be off by 
by you know a sixteenth of an inch and doesn't seem like a lot but this machine's gonna allow us to just duplicate things over and over and over and over again it's gonna be the same every time especially whenever you're trying to put something together and you don't want no air to escape every you want everything to be exactly where it has to be so we won't have any air leaks or whatever so that's what this machine is gonna help us for guys and like I said this is just the beginning we're planning on doing mass production on the speaker boxes Keith what he's gonna do he's gonna design a badass with the correct airspace uh, box let's say for the truck like the one we're working on right now midnight truck he's gonna design that box and instead of him just cutting one in the table saw we could probably run two or three at the same time and then just put them all together at once and that way we'll have one for the customer that order one the custom one and then we'll have two more for future customers or if there's a shop let's say in Houston that wants to run the SPO boxes we'll take them a couple boxes over there and they'll have it ready with the same specs that Keith is doing here so right. if you're an owner of a shop and you want to start getting introduced or whatever like talk to us and, and possibly run our SPO boxes that we're gonna be selling get with us his what's your Instagram Pete? SPL Society you could message him directly or you can message me on my Instagram right now we're gonna start with local people here in Houston and eventually we can start shipping boxes out to other states right so what I want to do is I want to start out with maybe five or six different designs you know a lot for the GM truck some for the Ford trucks. Dodge trucks are really, really hard, but maybe in the future we'll start making boxes for Dodge trucks. So once I get, you know, 10, 12, 15 designs, I want to start connecting with dealers and car audio shops, and I want to sell to car audio shops all around America so you guys have access to these boxes because shipping can get really expensive. If I'm shipping mm -hmm. out one box to Tennessee, one box to California, it gets really expensive. So if we're shipping out 10 to 20 boxes to dealers all over America, y'all can go to that dealer y'all can get the SPO box and uh, get it installed by you know a good good installer now there's a lot of people that make good boxes out there but these are key made boxes right. so so really the big thing is what I want to do is I want to design a box and I want to put it in a truck and I want to test it I want to make sure it sounds good I want to make sure it's good enough to sell to you guys mm -hmm. so a lot of the next few months is going to be designing stuff cutting stuff out getting the process down and then I want to test it in the trucks and make sure that it sounds good so that way when you guys get it y'all will be happy you're gonna get a box that's actually gonna sound good with whatever speakers you're putting on there so that's what we're trying to do with this now Keith has been doing this for a very long time so he's got plenty of experience uh, he's been messing with the computers and the air, whatever, what do you call that? Just airspace, airspace and port and tuning and, and stuff like that. So. so you better believe that these boxes are going to sound good. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll also probably recommend you guys what speakers to run on what box and stuff like that. Right? Yeah. Here. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be, I guess, installing this whole machinery and making yeah. sure everything is working. And then some of my future videos would include him cutting some of this stuff up. Also, the Project Tour Garage channel, you guys will see most of whatever Keith is going to be doing here. So, we'll SPL. SPL is coming with the heat. Yes, sir. Custom boxes. Yes, sir. It's going, be, it's going to be good. Top of the line. Top of the line. So, I'm leaving the shop. We didn't do too much today, but we kind of did because we uh, we went and got the forklift and everything else. Going to so, yeah, guys, this is what we're doing now. This is the our new little business venture. Now, will it work? I don't know but if you don't try it you never know guys uh hopefully everything goes as planned that's the plan that uh, me and keith got going on with that and uh we just want you guys to support us and if you guys want a speaker box and if you're a company and if you're a, a subscriber that you want one of the shops that's local to you that wants to run or boxes now of course we still not having to sign them but i mean you can start talking to your people that are local to you guys about this, these uh custom speaker boxes that we're going to be designing so uh sometimes you got to try things and sometimes it works sometimes it don't so and now with this cnc machine it's going to give us a better chance to sell to a lot more people than people just bringing the truck over here to the shop keep doing a custom box for that one truck now we could do that custom box for that one truck and we can make copies of that to sell to others so that's the plan and of course if you guys want something really really custom with your name engraved uh with led lights with uh all kinds of crazy stuff with plexiglass we will be able to do that as well with this machine the possibilities are endless that is it for this vlog guys i'm heading out i'm heading home I'll get something to eat and then take a little nap and back to work tomorrow so stay tuned thanks for everybody drop a comment what you guys think on the new uh, CNC machine and uh, like I said would you guys support we'll be able to do pretty much anything I like subscribe hit the notification bell and drop a comment I